Alrighty, so I have some interesting news about Canada's Wonderland's future hotel. Um, yes, I'm going to use the word future. Um, after an extremely long battle with the people that live around Wonderland, literally want to go egg their houses. It's not me if it happens. Um, I'm kidding. There's one little subdivision that lives near Wonderland that has caused the biggest problem for them building the hotel. But I have got my hands on some juicy information. It is moving forward after some adjustments to shut these people up. So it will no longer be an eight-story hotel. It'll be a six-story hotel, as the neighborhood was claiming. All oh, the people on the top floors can see into our backyards. la di da blah, blah, blah. Karen's complaining left, right, and center. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to make a video about uh, the overall thing that has happened. Like, truthfully, this makes me so angry because from what I understand of the people that live in this community, you have to assign an agreement um, that Wonderland was there first when you move in or buy a property there, or purchase a house, that Wonderland was there first, there's X amount of noise, blah, 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 you can't call noise complaints, you can't do this. Um, but that's my understanding of people that live in that area. I know that because Craigo lives in that area, and his family had to sign something like that, so that I can confirm, they do have to sign something about Wonderland being there first, and no noise complaints, and no blah, blah, blah. So it, it upsets me a little bit that Wonderland had to size down their hotel. Um, but nonetheless, it'll have 140 rooms, It'll be six stories. It'll have a pool. It'll have 161 parking spots instead of 238. Um, and this is what it'll look like. So it's going to be just a Hyatt place that I understand now. It's not going to be like the mix that they were having before. It's got like a really nice crisp look. Um, and based off of the stockholders call, not the last one, but Q3, it'll have a Q2 2021 opening date with construction starting um, soon. I believe it should be starting by the end of this season, you should see construction starting for the hotel. Um, but yeah, a lot of people were losing hope, asking me all the time what's going on with the hotel. I truthfully didn't know. I knew the hotel was still going to be built due to the Q Q3 conference call. They said 2021 Q2. Um, I got a little nervous when they didn't mention it on this stockholders call at all. But then out of nowhere, um, this tidbit of information was sent to me about the hotel. It just got approved. It is fully approved now, by the way. Um, you can look it up um, at the Vaughn's uh, main office. You can get the files for it. It has been fully approved. It is now an official site plan. They can start construction literally tomorrow if they wanted, um, which is super exciting. And yeah, it's, it's the it's going to open probably 2021 Q2. Who knows? Um, there, no one can file any more complaints against the hotel because <laughs> it's been approved. The community around it can literally shut their mouths. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, super exciting. Just wanted to give you guys an update. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to open around 2021. And the reason it's been delayed is because the people that live around it were complaining that the seventh and eighth floor could see into their backyard. Um, I would reveal the house numbers specifically. There's four people who filed complaints against the hotel. You know who you are if you're watching this video, <laughs> which you're probably not. Um, but nonetheless... Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you have an amazing weekend. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, comment down below. Are you excited about a hotel coming to Canada's Wonderland? Oh boy. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.